In 13 seasons as Georgia's head coach Mark Richt has led the Bulldogs to six division championships and two SEC titles. But for as much good as he's done in Athens, he's been criticized for not winning the big games, bringing at least one fan to tears. We got to get rid of Rick. We got to get rid of him and we got to get rid of him now. Let me ask you a question. Hey, replace him with who? With who? Who you going to replace him with? Get rid of him, man. But who you going to replace him with? Give us a I name. Don't know who we're, I don't know who we can replace him with. Our whole season's gone, man. How are we going to go face South Carolina now? That from a fan last fall after a season-opening loss to Clemson. Georgia would finish a disappointing 8-5. and five. Here to talk about one of the longest tenured coaches in the SEC is our SEC insider Russ Mitchell and Georgia insider Jeff Dantzler. And Russ, uh, I'm sure Mark Richt has talked about from neighborhood diners to barbershops in Athens. Is he the right guy for the job? Well, it's all relative, brother. I mean, if you're, if you're a Georgia fan and you're comfortable with the backing into your championships and losing them, if you're comfortable with going four and a half years without a signature conference win, if you're comfortable with a roster that turns over faster than Lindsay Lohan's dance card, if you're a Georgia fan and you're comfortable with always being the bridesmaid and never the bride, then Mark Rick is the coach for you. Well, Georgia did get some signature wins last year, beat South Carolina and LSU certainly in league play in two straight years against Florida. There's no question. Uh, the last few years have been disappointing. For the last five seasons, Georgia's lost at least four games. But the program is just two years away from a 12-2 and two season in 2012. That team finished fifth. That being said, Georgia's pretty loaded this year. The schedule looks pretty good. There's going to be a lot of pressure on the Bulldogs to have a big season here in 2014. Yeah, I I agree with that. And look, I think Mark Richt, by every stretch, by every definition, he's a, he's a great human being. I mean, he's better than probably all of us, and that's more important than football. And, you know, Georgia's a crown jewel. Georgia is a crown jewel from a branding perspective of this sport. You know, I mean, this is a program. Mark Richt is very good, I think, with a short span, four or five years. But then, like Urban Meyer... Then, like Jimmy Johnson, given his coaching style, I think it's time to move on, and that hasn't been the case, and I think it's time for a change in that. Uh, I think the biggest thing for Georgia to get things back on track, there's so much high school talent in this state. Georgia has got to do a better job. You're not going to get them all, but of at least getting its fair share of home state talent. And just for example, this year in the draft, there were 17 Pete State products taken, and only one of them signed with Georgia. That was Zach Mettenberger. So whenever Georgia can control this state in recruiting, that's when Georgia can be as good as any team in college football. I agree. That's a very valid point. And, you know, uh, but even then, they don't, they're not able to put a complete wall up around the state. But even then, they still have top, you know, top 10 recruiting classes almost every year. He, he's able to bring the kids. He, he just can't keep them. The roster turnover in that program is rather significant, particularly over the last six years. So, you know, I, I, I agree. I just don't know if right now, I, in fact, I feel fairly strong about this. I don't think Mark Richt is the man to take Georgia to the next level to get them to win the SEC championship and then win a national championship. It seems like the talent is there, guys. Uh, for the last eight years, he's had a top 10 recruiting class, according to scout.com. But very interesting, since 2011, just one 12 win season. That coming in 2012, as you guys alluded to, but they were just one and two against teams in the top 10. So uh, still the future left to be determined for Mark Rick there in Athens. All right, Russ and Jeff, guys, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks for the time. Thanks. And for the latest in what's happening on the web, get your daily dose of Trend Tracker from the lovely and talented Shea Pepler, only on CampusInsiders.com.